Hey everyone, Wonderbot here. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Orcs. Or welcome back to Orcs if you caught any of my previous previous coverage of this. I can word hi. Uh, so there's a couple of, uh, there, there's a new faction now, and uh, this game's in early access. I should probably mention that. I'm immediately getting distracted because I want to dive into this. So the military zone gives an ability to move warrior camps. So this guy's more of fighters, this guy's more of castles. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go Rune Wardens just because they're familiar and I, I I really like building castles in this game. So you have, if you haven't seen this before, it's a cross between like roguelike and Carcassonne with some tower defense. You build castles and the castles defend your main keep. So, the Tenth War, the darkest times have begun. The henchmen of the eternal enemy are, at the, are already at the door. We cannot delay this any longer. If we don't deal with this source of malice, the kingdom will be left with not one stone upon another. You open the book and it shows you the enemy, and he's not alone. Three guardians block your path. He stands there balefully, staring at you through the pitch black void that separates you. Okay, so we have, uh, let's see, Medea Plains. Doesn't look like we have access to either of these, so I guess we're just diving in. So day turns to night the moment orcs enter the realm. Orcs is a game about building castles and protecting it against the horde. Okay, so I know pretty much all of this stuff. I have played this game a fair bit. So to win, you gotta survive the orcs attacks. Don't forget to read the tooltips. And good luck, orcs, orcs, orcs. All right, rad. So time doesn't pass, I don't think, until we get started, which is good. We're just going to... We're just gonna start by laying down as much road as I possibly can. Okay, can always redraw my hand. Unfortunately, this game is going to be a little tutorialsy. Uh, actually, no. It's going to be a little tutorially. So does this. Uh, play 15 cards to complete the quest. But I think I need to get close to it. Well, we get a village. All right. So you find an ancient vault hidden with hidden knowledge. You can complete this quest and receive certain rewards. There are different types of vaults scattered all over the land. Some will be visible at the start of the mission. Others are hidden in fog of war. After completing road, you'll get extra gold. Cool. Okay, so now we have this. Play cards to get this quest. Okay, so I can pause and unpause the game freely. Can I put things down while it's paused? Interesting. I can. I don't think we have any other vaults that we need to worry about, per se. But the one thing is we do... Wait. We want to put this one down. It's cheaper and has admittedly limited health, but the limited health is a good thing as opposed to a bad. Then we're gonna kinda wanna wait. Okay, there's no target to play, so I guess the town center cannot be buffed. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know. I guess I'll do that. That's only gonna get us a smidge of money, tragically. These are... Some pretty heinously small castles. Okay. It might be one of those that I'm I'm specifically kind of given mediocre castle pieces in the beginning to teach me how to castle. It could be the case, or I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, collect some extra gold based on its length. Uh, let's see. And I should probably start extending one of these roads. I don't have too much. I'll just put some farmlands there in a militia regimen. Okay. You can increase the size of a military camp by summoning more warriors atop an existing camp. Oh. That's actually kind of helpful. Okay, so this can hold four runes. Let's give it some damage. Let's give it some attack speed. And we've completed the quest so we can go to the vault. So play 45 cards to get some more and get one of three spells. So we could get some infantry, some more... Cast speed. I think I'm going to go for the Militia Regiment. Buffing my castles sounds like a really good idea. And maybe I should do that instead. Let's see. We don't actually know where the Orcs are coming from yet. There we go. But I, no matter what, want to have the longest dang roads I possibly can. And I don't have enough money. Sounds like a good time for the Lord's share. Oh, close that off. Whoopsie, whatever. I don't think that really matters that much. Okay, do we just put a three-way crossroads at the end? Maybe? 
I think it's better to just get a couple of these castles down in, in the meantime. So when are the orcs coming? 26 seconds. And it seems like they're coming from up here. Okay, village collect two times delayed gold. From completing the road. I mean, that's about the best spot I could possibly put it. Okay. Nope. We want to rotate this. Not actually sure how necessary, how necessary that's going to be. I'm just going to make a freaking army there. The orcs are near. The orcs indicator is located to the side of the screen, marking that next wave. Plan your development according to this information. Okay, so orcs, orcs are on the way. Luckily, I've got a pretty decent castle there. And another one kind of coming in. Let's wait until this is tapped out. Though, actually, maybe I shouldn't. Uh. Hmm. If I put this here, I can start expanding. If I put this here and complete it, I can start expanding this castle. I forgot that that's something that I can do. Um, but only if it links up. Otherwise, I'm kind of out of luck. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do another delayed end? I don't... I don't necessarily want to put anything down. I guess we should put put the farmland down no matter what. Because yeah, five delayed gold and road end. Just do that and put the farmland down. It does not net me much, but it nets me some. Okay. Put this here. We have some more farmland. If I could reduce the price of that, I would be a happy camper. Okay, this is about as maxed out as, as it's going to get. Put this here. Another crossroads. I'm just trying to kind of fill things out. Let's see, throw another Lord's Greed. I might actually be just kind of out of luck here. Can I put another flag on this? No. Okay, so there there is an upper limit on how big my armies can get. I'll put the other one over here. Now the question is, do we make this one that much bigger? Sure. And if you've noticed, it is now fused into one singular castle. Which is kind of my goal. It only works when you can put two adjacent pieces together that link up. But because I did, I can now continuously stack even more runes into this thing. So sure, you could stack like a bunch of whiffly little mediocre castles all over the place, but it's not going to do you nearly as much good. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, we have some more farmland. Keep putting that down for just smidges of money. Yeah, just try and clear things out a little bit. I might have to put this down. You know what? It's fine. It's like the absolute silliest looking uh, little castle. Just yeah. there's barely anything going on on that one. Now did that? Oh yeah, that's 300 HP per segment. Absolutely nutty. Okay, put this here. Put this connector wall here. I don't actually know if they destroyed the farmland. It looks like they probably do. I don't really know if that affects much of anything in my... Uh, for me, at least. If anything, it's actually a distraction. Okay, I don't know. I think we have one more wave after this. Oh. Is this done? It is. Do I add a card? I could also skip it, but 
I shouldn't. Ooh. Rune damaged enemies move and attack slower. Or blast tower. Target castle area damage. Tower upgrade. I like the blast tower. It's expensive as heck, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish that off. Uh, let's see. How are we looking? Because now we've got two kind of nonsensical towers. Towers? Castles? Oh, and that Rune of Gust doesn't go away. Interesting. Now, we don't have any more villages, but we do have farmland that we could potentially put down. I'm just going to put that there. So maybe when the runes f fill out, uh, they get more expensive, but you get to keep them. That actually makes a lot more sense. Uh, let's see. Heavy wind, global attack speed, projectile accuracy... And yeah, we can also speed this up a little bit as, uh, at this point, it's kind of slowed down. I have no means of making money. Now, we can use one initiative to redraw. Oh yeah, that's fine. Put this here. Oh, shoot. Well, that didn't work. It's fine. I don't think we need money at this point. I think we're about as golden as we can possibly get. Let's see. And yeah, I could kind of continue... ...putting stuff down. And I might as well, just because I have nothing better. But I think they're pretty dead. Giving my super castle cannon towers... Uh, is wild. Okay, world corruption. So, none. What increases the corruption? I have no idea. Maybe it's just future levels, or maybe this is it. Okay, so rewards and consequences. So, wall. Upgrade one rune card in hand until the end of battle. Rune of Morph. Ooh. I might as well snag that. Because I don't need the single wall that much. Okay, the orcs have their own cards and their own deck. There are power-ups and curses that will automatically be cast after a wave arrives during a mission, making them stronger. So more archers or curse of glory. Let's see. Curse 30% per tier more orcs in the next wave or additional pack of orcs from the archer clan. So Curse of Glory is iffy, because it ups my corruption, though I think the higher the corruption, the better the reward. But I think I'm going to do Archers for the time being. Okay. You're riding by the ruins of an old Median stronghold when one of your guards notices a sword planted into the stone in the middle of the castle yard. Fueled by curiosity, you dismount and examine the sword by yourself. Looks like a typical old sword, but something tells you there's a secret behind it. So we can get a basic sword... Artifact, permanent upgrade, plus two damage to all units and buildings, plus one Earth Sephiroth. I'm going to do it. Sword in the Stone. Okay, so now we can go to an event. Uh, select. Oh, I see. Event, select a card to upgrade or enchant. Uh, let's see. Can I check my own cards? Is there a way that I can see the upgrades on these? Uh... I guess the other question is, so upgrade, upgrade, enchant, I don't know what, art oh, that's an artifact shrine. Enchantments can get really interesting, upgrades also. Okay, be wary of world corruption, it grows as you play, it increases the amount of nodes in mystery shops, also gradually increases the rarity and tier of all cards and artifacts that you receive, but we'll beware that also includes both your cards and orcs cards. Orcs will become more powerful the higher the world corruption levels. It's a double-edged sword, so use it wisely. So we can do a uh, loop. This card will be put on top of your draw pile after you play it. Increase the cost of this card by plus one for every loop until redraw. And then the rest requires more corruption. Oh, you kidding? Okay, that's not as... Not as nice as I like. I don't think loop used to have... Such a limitation. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do the connector wall all the same. I was really hoping I could return and go back. 
So enchantment wise, what else do we have? Static will not be discarded on redraw. Reduce the cost by eight. Will always be in the hand at the start of battle and remove charges from the card. Increase the cost of this card by five and add plus one per cast until the end of the mission. Oh, they rebalance these in kind of a rude way. As you ventured forth, you found an ancient runic obelisk. Your record keeper advises you to call your subjects and conduct a weather manip manipulation ritual. Apex sun, twilight, earthquake. Well, considering I already have an earth thing, let's do earthquake. Okay. What did earthquake? Oh, sometimes the battle is affected by the weather conditions or other effects. So we can check up here. Earth... Earth Sephiroth plus three. Global health reduced by 35%. All tiles cost plus one. Oh, that sucks. Tile price discount. Well, that sucks less. Okay, do we just put a village on this? Yeah, I'll do it. Because now the vault is opened, so now we need to just complete a castle. I don't really like any of these options, is the one issue. Let's see. I'm just going to put that there for now. Until we get some other options. Okay. Get some farmland. And we get some troops. Now, I should be able to put the Lord's share here. And we are actually getting the money. There's the connector wall. Let's see, do we have anything else? I guess I could do the Rune of Morph. Oh. That's what that does. Okay. Please tell me I can put things on this. It looks like I can. Okay, and there's the connector wall. Let's just redraw at this point. Because, yeah, I could probably do better than this. Okay, and we're just going to kind of keep exploring. Eventually, there's better ways of making money. And yes, doing a redraw does get me my money back. But I don't have to worry about that too much. Oh, what do we think? Put down the three-way crossroads? I guess. Earthquake was the wrong choice. I think. I'm not actually sure on that one. It certainly felt like it was the wrong choice. Okay, get the next militia regiment down. Let's see. Ooh, couple of seconds. We need the diagonal connector, like, ASAP. Let's just redraw. Oof. I mean, I might be able to make it work. And maybe the redraw was the wrong choice. Uh. Okay. There it is. Yeah, that went poorly. This poor castle is not quite ready to defend anything or anyone at the moment. As I have not packed it with a single rune. I guess I'll give it rune of gust. That should help. And give it the blast tower too. That should actually help tremendously. Yep, we're good. And it's right back. Perfect. Okay. Extend. I guess I can put the village here. We just need to make sure we extend this as far as it can go apart from that. Okay. I'm going to pile militia regiments here. 
I'll speed it up a little bit. There's... I have no means of making money at the moment. Uh, let's see. If I put that there, we can at least get the connector wall down. And I could even potentially uh, finish this off if I wanted to. Which is a little tempting. Uh, let's see. Farmland here. Okay. And we've got some money coming in. Another rune of rock. I should probably put the rune of embers on this. Expensive as it is. Let's see. Anything else? No. Yes, yeah, so let's let's cap this off. It's a small castle, but I can put the other connector wall on it. But for now I'm gonna do this, and we also have the vault, which gets us another connector wall, another road end. I'm gonna like connector walls. I don't really like any of the rest of these. I'll just have a whole bunch of long castles, I guess. What is this? Oh, it's just telling me that that still exists, of course. Okay, well. Here's the thing. I'm just gonna put this here. Singular wall. Then we get the Lord's share. Boy, if I could make that endless, I would be a happy camper. The only immediate problem is that that becomes really expensive. Okay. Do a rune of rock, just because they are coming from this direction. And a rune of gust. Okay, keep extending that there. This castle is not nearly as well defended as the other one, but it's got enough... Uh, Tudan Orch is gonna keep them defended. Plus, we've got the basic soldiers. Actually, it looks like that was it. Rad. I guess I didn't open the vault up, but whatever. I'll live. Okay, so what do you get? Another Lord's share. Uh, let's see. A chapel. So two times delayed gold based on road length, or three three delayed gold for each developed tile in a 3x3. Three three. So that would be, what, eight? This would be up to 24 gold. This is any amount, but it's based on road. I think I'd still prefer a second Lord's share. Okay, orcs move and attack faster or regenerate four health per second. Let's go with that. Okay, so Lady of the Lake, along the way you find a lake that wasn't supposed to be here according to your map. You find a passage past it, but it's guarded by a ghostly woman. It seems she won't let you pass without some kind of offering. Chase her away or remove a card. Okay, that's actually super good. Let's get rid of the single wall and crossroads, as I don't like those. It's a random artifact to add or upgrade a card to the next tier. I wish I knew what cards... Uh, looked like. I'm gonna go here. Like a random artifact to add. So, start uh, generate one spell vault at the start of the mission. Buildings have more health or initiative. On mission start and for each wave. I'm gonna go with buildings have more health. I really should probably start. Uh, well, I don't know. Do we want to do heavy smog? Heavy smog. Let's see what that gets us. Uh. I should probably stack some corruption. Okay, so. Vision range and attack range reduced. Ooh. Okay, that's a little more punishing. Okay, uh, let's see. And there's not much else. I'm just gonna put that there. I guess I'll redraw. Unfortunately, we got kind of our not best. Okay. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm going to ring my town center in on either side by these. For the very specific reason of uh, if I ring it in like this and then I continue to expand the castle this way laterally, that should have no problems. Uh, let's see. And I could lock it like that, but that's awful. So I guess I'll wait. My income's kind of bad, but it'll get better. Because I want to get over to this thing. Oh, that's redraw three times to complete the quest. Oh. I thought that would be castle-based. Uh, let's see. Well, I could put a castle here. And you need a little bit more money to do it. Okay, so, so vault opened. Redraw. Put a village down. That gets us a bunch of money. And one of these down. Okay. Let's see. We put that there. Maybe. Probably not. Yeah, unfortunately, I need my diagonal. For a couple of spots, in fact. And until that shows up, I'm actually going to be in trouble here. Well. There it is. Okay, we have a functional castle. And not a moment too soon. Okay. Eh. Eh. There we go. Oh, they're dead. And we get the blast towers. Sick. Okay. But here's what I'm thinking. As far as absolutely ludicrous layouts go. Uh, let's see. There's a Lord's Share that gets us our money. I'm thinking, what if I just stack that there? And then just kind of keep adding these weird segments every single time. Okay, secondary Lord's share. I'd use it, but I'm not entirely sure if I can. Ooh, hold up. I can't. I can no longer extend this castle. But it's also like, it's fine. I don't know. I don't think I need to extend it any further. Maybe I can extend it this way. But you never know. Okay, diagonal there. Get the Lord's share down for some easy money. How's this looking? Genuinely fantastic. Put the village, straight road. Curved road, but curved the other direction. I just don't know what's out here. Okay. Okay, do we complete this castle? I think we just leave it. What if I do a Rune of Morph again? And did that actually upgrade all of mine? I have no idea. Well, I'll snag a little bit more money. Okay. Now, is this all one castle? It is. So as long as it connects pretty much anywhere, you're golden. Wow. That's, um... Stupid good? Wait. In that case... Can I do, like, a bizarre annex like this? I can. Uh, sure. Why the heck not? Who's gonna stop me? 
I mean, the orcs will, I guess. Not anytime soon, though. Meet Hell Fortress, jerks. Let's just keep upping that. Uh, keep adding more troops. They're going to attack me from the other direction. They better be, they best be prepared. I don't know. I could do more more with that. And yeah, I could technically come back out here. We've got a couple of Lord shares going. Okay, well, my finances are looking fantastic. They're doing some heinous things to this. But I uh I don't think that's going to matter. Now, if I was a madman, I could potentially maybe connect these two. But that would be really silly. Let's just redraw twice. Another Rune of Rock on that one. That one. Ooh, we do get a diagonal. Hmm. Right here. Uh, let's see. Put that there. We get another Lord share. Let's see. Oh, no! I was going to redraw. Shoot. We killed them too fast fine. I don't want to spam my deck full of too much junk anyway. It's a straight road, more farmland. Rune of Embers. Eh. Let's go farmland. Additional waves in the current mission. Ooh. More orcs, but later. Or Curse of Greed. Let's do more orcs, but later. Choose a random card from another faction, or choose a card to remove. Let's remove a card. What do we not like? Three-way crossroads. That's functionally meaningless to me. Okay, so we get enchant favorite. Always be in the hand at, uh, at the start of battle. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> That's a question, though. What do I start with? Unfortunately, most of my cards right now are kind of just okay. I guess I'll favorite that. Okay. Ooh. As you order to set up camp for the night, you see that some of your servants are arguing about how is the large bright constellation in the sky called. You remember at the time when you were young, when your royal stargazer taught you how to find guidance in the stars. You meditate for some time and, and invigorated came up with new strategies to increase gold cap by 10, 3 vision to all tiles, or allied attack speed by 15. Gold cap could be good. Attack speed could be pretty decent. I think I have to go for the attack speed. Okay. And, as per last time, start with the farmland. Start with the other farmland. Start by putting down, once again, the more deranged... Set up, I possibly can't. Oh. Eh. I'll get, I'll get to it. What do you even want? Defeat four waves. Ooh. Um. I can't do anything with that anyway. Just get soldiers down. And redraw again. Okay, put the village down because we need the money. Uh, let's see. Probably put this here. Get that. More soldiers. 
I'm under a bit of time crunch. To even get over here. If I can do that, I'm in a good spot. If I put this here, yes, I can, in fact. Okay. Gonna put that there. Don't worry about it. Let's see. More money. There's our connector wall. The two farmlands. Second connector wall. Okay, perfect. So now I can continue to build kind of this weird deranged dong tower castle. Don't worry about it. Oh. And we might as well throw these on. Okay. Put the other single wall. Can't put that there. But I'll have enough money for not the connector wall, the blast tower. And the Rune of Embers. And the farmland. Okay. I think we're good. Put the village down here. I'll have to get another castle on this side. But at least now we've got our wave. And maybe a boss? Oh, there's also apparently two vaults. Well, this will be interesting. Okay. I guess I should probably get some people here. And no matter what, Orkenvald should be fine. Now, there's also apparently another vault somewhere around here. But it looks like we don't know where it is, so I'm going to have to go exploring if I want to find it. Maybe that's fine? I don't know. Okay. Complete this. Well, what, did, what is he doing? Oh. He's summoning goobers. I didn't know he'd do that. Okay, well, let's put a Rune of Rock down here. Big question. Okay, good. I could put something here. Well, you know what? Let's just continue to make this singular castle the most b busted thing in my setup. Okay, rotate it the other direction. I have n rotate it the other direction. I have no idea where this other vault is supposed to be. Let's see. But I want to make I want to make the most of this one. Unfortunately, it does not retro retroactively add extra castle segments for me. Which is a bit of a downer. So I should probably go the other direction at some point. Okay. Oh, we do have another village. Nuts. Um, I'm going to put that there. If we're going to have a section somewhere, probably going to be in this mix. Put the money stack up. I should probably expand this. Because I think he's just going to keep summoning dudes. And I can I can expand this later freely. Yeah, so let's complete this. So it's one just giant freaking horror castle. Okay. Let's try and bring this back home a bit. Because if there's going to be a vault somewhere, it's probably around here, maybe. I 
Okay. So I'm just going to put that there. Put another rune of rock down. Here's the question. If I put Gust down... Oh! He's left and has moved. He's moved to a really terrible location, but we have found... We have found our Starlet Vault. Okay. That's good. So I guess I don't need to go over here. So in that case, do we redraw? I... I... Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Can I put... Actually, let's hold off for a bit. More runes of embers. This is just going to one-shot literally everything as it goes by. Okay. Extend. That's a big orc chieftain something or other. It didn't like that, and I'm not sure why. Okay, but I think it's time to hit the redraw. Put the farmland there. Okay, wave's been defeated. Because, yeah, we don't want to fight the boss yet. Mostly want to just kind of keep putting, I don't know, random, random ass roads down. Okay. Extend this. This bizarre spider castle. Okay. Just redraw again. I guess I should probably use the Rune of Morph. Just to get out of my... Get it out of my hair. Um, jeez. Redraw again. Put that there, that gets us a little bit more. Well, bye. <laughs> I might have to worry about that. If he's going to end up out there. I don't think I need to worry too much. Okay. And yeah, we also have to potentially redraw quite a number of times. Uh, speed up the next orc wave by 20. Hmm. That's an interesting problem. Okay. Good. They're just gonna... Oh, they died. Okay, that works even better than I thought it possibly could. Okay, put the connector wall down. We just kind of want to extend this Summer Sloop Castle off into the distance. Make it the biggest, chunkiest mess ever. Because, I mean, the bigger it is, the harder it hits, right? I'm noticing some X's here, and I'm not quite sure why. Now, the one immediate problem is, I might actually have to build a castle next to this guy to get him to die. Which is an annoyance. Let's see. Okay, I've completed a wave, completed a quest. So quest gets us a reward. Another Lord's share or a chapel. I like the Lord's share. Okay. 
I mm, think I can do that. Redraw. That should be fine. Let's see. Give me the money. I think that one's worth more. And maybe the chapel's better, but it's hard to line up, is the answer. All right, other direction. Here's the one problem. We have a lot of connectors. We don't actually have... Oops. We're going to have a whole lot of walls. On the flip side, this is this kind of still works out for me. Okay. Ooh. Maybe I can't put this here? Maybe we just don't know how. I think I mess, m might have messed this up. This is the edge. Edge of the map. Yeah, that's a... Uh, oops. Hopefully he gets bored down here. I don't think there's a way that I can undo this. Uh, oh, yeah, I should put that here. Hold off on the next Lord's share. Another rune of gust. I can't really be stopped here. But neither can he. Okay. Okay, that at least gives us something. It's not a good something. But it's something. It's something that can fight back. And hopefully hit him, because he's going to keep summoning. Now, there's an absolutely deranged potential option that I have here. I'm going to be using that word a lot, I think. Straight road, connect that. Do we have any more farmland? Yes. Okay, how are you looking? I'm gonna give this one another rune of rock. Now it's got 24,000 HP. It actually should be able to hurt the Brutalkin here. And I mean, this is absurd. Borderline unstoppable. Okay, we need the diagonal. What? No, 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 no. Really? Damn it. It didn't work. Unless... No. There's no way. There's no way I'm pulling that off. There is. But it'd be so stupid that... Why would I do it? If I was really desperate, I could potentially try and wrap this entire damn thing around. That'd be really funny. That said, this castle is actually holding its own. I was just really hoping I could put this in here. Um. Oh, I might have a little bit more room for this than I thought. I'll hold off on that. Let's, uh. Keep just putting weird amounts of farmland down in odd spaces. Over here. I'm not going to be doing anything with that area. Oh, he's moving. Thank you. Please just end up right next to my castle where you will melt. I'm going to still kind of complete this.
Okay. Bye. Hi. How much damage does this castle do? Oh, he's there. Yeah, that could be a problem. 80, 86 damage per shot. That should be uh, pretty nonsense. Okay, put this here. Another... Uh, oh. I guess let's just redraw it. Keep getting that farmland down. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice. It's been, um, having a bit of a rough week. I'm cutting down heavily on how much I record. Ah. Uh, but even then, there's some games that I don't want to miss. Okay. Put this here. Don't put that down. Redraw again. Other direction, because he's going to block it. Other direction, because he's going to... Actually, hold up. Skip that. Let's just put this here. This way, this is just done. And I can start just buffing it up a little bit. Oh. It might not take. But at least we've completed this one. Okay. Oh. Select a card to upgrade to the next tier. We can. Oh, we can see what each of these do. Upgrade all runes in hand. Uh, all runes in hand. Three times gold. Seven delayed gold. Road end. I like the seven delayed gold just because that's more money and we get to keep the farmland pretty much forever. Um, Blast tower. Power upgrade. So it's more health and way more damage, which is solid. Don't get me wrong. Ten times as much HP. I don't know what the, uh, the two means. Armor? Might be armor. But we need, we need income before I ever even touch any of these things. Do we have any... This one. What if I upgrade this? So this would actually... A level two straight road makes it free. Which is also actually very good. Oh, Sephiroth changed the amount of damage dealt and received by a unit or building against other Sephiroth. Playing this card increases the corresponding Sephiroth power. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, I guess we've got heavy earth tendency, but yeah, I'm just going to do farmland for the... For the resources. Okay. I can't redraw, but I'm not planning on it. Yeah, he's getting smacked around. Not enough. But that's because this thing doesn't actually do a whole lot of damage. Nope. Eh, it's taking him out pretty quick, actually. We just gotta... We just gotta wait. Well, this was an interesting fight. Now, is this going to be the end, or do we have, like, future acts? Because it feels like this run's only started, but holy smokes, long game. You come back to your book of clarity. It beams and opens in your hands. As the light rays reflect on your face, you feel even more clarity. You feel wiser. Tranquility enwraps you, and you drift into sleep. You hear a distant voice. You've gained a lot of insight, but the most important is yet to come. Finish campaign. Okay, so that's act one. So I think there's going to be future, longer acts with more going on. Also, I should really just let corruption go up, because why not? Also, it looks like we've unlocked the Spearman Regiment, the Runestone, the Duskbringer, Architect Camp, and a whole bunch of artifacts and other cards. Uh, or maybe we just know about those. No, no, no. We've definitely unlocked them. Rad. Uh, let's see. Fire Sephiroth. Orcs now wield the power of the Fire Sephiroth. Okay, so it seems like there's going to be even more content to this than I thought. Because um, now if I go back into this one... That was Act 1? Oh. Maybe we get access to Act 2 after this. I'm not sure. It. Oh yeah, here it is. Act 2. Yeah, so now we have Act 1 and 2, so maybe it gets longer with every run. Well, that was fun. 
Uh, definitely a little long, but a lot of that just boils down to not quite knowing exactly what I'm doing. And now I think I have a fairly good idea across the board. Uh, so Orcs is available now on Steam and Early Access. Two of the factions are available, and they seem pretty complete. At least the, the main faction does. I don't know about the Warriors yet, and I will have to give them a shot. Uh, but if you guys are interested in picking this game up, it is 20 bucks normally, down to 18 for release. Uh, which I think is a very fair price for such a good game. And I, I highly recommend it if you want a different kind of roguelike. It's still got a lot of the same flavor as like a lot of other deck builders, for example. But the Carcassonne mechanics really changes the pace of everything. I like that a lot. But for now at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I've got tons of them to check out and feature. Uh, I was going to continue with that, but then I realized that I had already said what I was going to continue with. So I guess I just critical stumble. Doesn't matter. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.